Now I didn't get the name of the channel War Backwards because of this particular video that you're watching. I will tell you how I derived that name. But you're watching Kurt Vonnegut read War Backwards. Pilgrim could not sleep on his daughter's wedding night. He was 44. Billy padded downstairs on his blue and ivory feet. He went into the kitchen where the moonlight called his attention to a half bottle of champagne on the kitchen table, all that was left from the reception in the tent. Somebody had stoppered it again. Drink me, it seemed to say. So Billy uncorked it with his thumb. Didn't make a pop. The champagne was dead. So it goes. He went into the living room, swinging the bottle like a dinner bell, turned on the television. He came slightly unstuck in time, saw the late movie backwards, then forwards again. It was a movie about American bombers in the Second World War, and the gallant men who flew them. Seen backwards by Billy, the story went like this. American planes, full of holes and wounded men and corpses, took off backwards from an airfield in England. Over France, a few German fighter planes flew at them backwards, sucked bullets and shell fragments from some of the planes and crewmen. They did the same for wrecked American bombers on the ground, and those planes flew up backwards to join the formation. The formation flew backwards over a German city that was in flames. The bombers opened their bomb bay doors, exerted a miraculous magnetism which shrunk the fires, gathered them into cylindrical steel containers, and lifted the containers into the bellies of the planes. The containers were stored neatly in racks. The Germans below had miraculous devices of their own, which were long steel tubes. They used them to suck more fragments from the crewmen and planes. But there were still a few wounded Americans, and some of the bombers were in bad repair. Over France, though, German fighter planes came up again, made everything and everybody as good as new. When the bombers got back to their base, the steel cylinders were taken from the racks and shipped back to the United States of America, where factories were operating night and day, dismantling the cylinders, separating the dangerous contents into minerals. Touchingly, it was mainly women who did this work. The minerals were then shipped to specialists in remote areas. It was their business to put them into the ground to hide them cleverly so they would never hurt anybody ever again. American flyers turned in their uniforms, became high school kids. And Hitler turned into a baby, Billy Pilgrim supposed. That wasn't in the movie. Billy was extrapolating. Everybody turned into a baby and all humanity, without exception, conspired biologically to produce two perfect people named Adam and Eve. Billy Pilgrim supposed. Okay, I've sh I shut the sound off and we'll watch it again as I talk. Now, I love this video. <laughs> uh, there's Billy Pilgrim maybe a pun on Pilgrim Progress and he's holding a dog and dog is usually a mockery of God because dog spelled backwards is God. Now of course they're showing the, the sun and the moon and the planets and all that stuff uh, because there's demonic powers at work when you talk about war and he watches things backwards because it makes more sense. If you watch it backwards, it'll make more sense to you. And what do I mean by that? It's all a lie. War is a hoax. Oh, they build the planes. They manufacture a lot of bullets. They move troops around like a migration gypsy migration 
as Dave J says they relocate them here and there and everywhere and then they produce propaganda films like what you're seeing and bombing is fakery because bombs don't drop extremely vertical like that if they did drop at all and if bombs do drop from a plane the plane will go into a spin <laughs> and everybody in the plane will die the bombs don't weigh what they say they weigh because it's probably made of styrofoam or rubber I have a video to show you when one of them falls off in a World War II footage actual footage that was being shown the bomb fell off and bounced all around on the runway now the population is hoaxed to join the illusion and they are given terrible uh, monsters like Hitler to enjoy <laughs> because the world is filled with terrible monsters like Hitler not the monsters that create the war and create the illusion of war okay so let's get back to how did I come up with war backwards is raw the, mer the very first major discovery I made was war is a hoax and all thanks goes to Dave Johnson otherwise known as Dave J many may not know this wonderful youtuber but I discovered him several years ago and I studied his videos and I studied them very intensely and I began to see oh my gosh this man is right I've been lied to. So I came up with my very first channel called War Backwards Is Raw. And if you take the word war and go backwards, R A W, raw, like raw meat, drop the W and just stay with the phonetic sound, raw, the Egyptian false god. War is about Ra, the false god of Egypt, who is really just the devil himself. And so war is basically the number one promotion in the hoax lie system by the evil one, the devil. And hence I produced my first channel ever war backwards is raw and the very first video I ever did was called the 80 year war cycle and when it first went up no one paid attention to it <laughs> but I thank God a few folks clicked on it and more and more got to see that what I presented in that video is actually true that war is an 80 year war cycle now there's a lot of variations and it's a little too much for me to explain here and now in this video so I'm going to invite you to a new channel and it's called War, ba War Backwards Equals Raw War Backwards Equals Raw R A and this is kind of a backup channel for my War Backwards Is Raw because the purging is getting pretty intense and I want to have lots of opportunities for you to find me so you can go to the new channel there's not much there right now war backwards equals raw so I'll try to leave a link for you in the box below 
And once again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And I'll end with Kurt Vonnegut's images. Adam and Eve. And thank you for watching. End of video.